Please subscribe our channel. Please share it with your near and dear. If you are able to use subject they and verb played, for example, as these are very important, subject and verb, you can use other words by your common sense. They played. So the question arises in your mind, what? Maybe cricket, maybe football or maybe anything. So easily you can use they played cricket. You can easily get, get an idea to use this word. They played cricket when yesterday. They played cricket yesterday. And where if you put a question like that, you can get idea. They played cricket yesterday at Uppal Stadium or some other stadium. So in this way, if you are comfortable with subject and verb, the other words you can use by your common sense. So using subject and verb are very important. After you use these words, so you can automatically follow the other words. So verb is more important than any other word in the sentence. We have already, already learned what a verb is and we are going to learn very important word, the same verb. Okay, how can you say that verb is more important than any other word in the sentence? If I give two examples, you can easily understand. A, for example, cricket. So if I feel that this is a sentence, something is missing here. And in the second part, simply I use a come. In the first sentence, they cricket yesterday. If I say, they cricket yesterday, if I say, the other person can't understand clearly what happened. If I use here, played, then it is clear for the other person what they did. Okay, then. So here, verb is playing a great role. One more thing also here. Here, subject is you really speaking, but it is missing. I am not using you. Simply come, I say. Only verb it is. Just by using verb, I can give the whole sentence meaning also. Meaning of the whole sentence. So sometimes simple verb also frames a single sentence. So in this way, here the importance of verb is so clear. So if verb is not there, meaning of the sentence is not that much clear. So by this we can understand verb is more important than even subject also sometimes. So in this way, verb is uh, more important than any other word in the sentence. It is now let us observe the following sentences. They will go to gym tomorrow. And in the second sentence, they went to gym yesterday. And in the third sentence, they have gone to gym today. Let's observe these uh, three sentences here. And especially, we have already talked about verb. Verb is more important than any other word in the sentence. And now we are talking about verb only and let us pay attention to verb here. So we have taken verb go. So we are talking about only going here. So we are talking about going here in the three sentences also. They will go to gym tomorrow. Verb is here. This is helping verb and this is main verb as you know. Go is used here. And in the second sentence, they went to gym yesterday. Here we used went. In the first sentence, go. In the second sentence, went. And in the third sentence, have gone. So gone we have used. Have is helping verb. So if you observe, go, went, gone, these three words give the same thing about going only. They are talking about going. But thing is that in the first sentence, this form indicates some time. Now we can understand 
the word go has three forms which are used in different ways so by this we can understand verbs have usually three different forms verbs have usually three different forms and what those are three different forms you are going to see now and verbs have three forms we have said no and what those forms now let us see so for verbs just before now we have learned go went gone okay so go the word go is in present tense form which is here go is in present tense form went is in past tense form and gone is in past participle form so these three forms have got their own special terms for them okay the first form is called as present tense form the second one is called past tense form and the third one is called past participle form and the same are called even first form second form third form also sometimes in short we call them as first form second form third form and sometimes v1 v2 v3 also we call them as so in three ways we call uh, these forms okay as per that uh, i have given here some verb forms okay just observe these uh, words ask asked asked play played played walked 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 so we can understand that we add ed to first form to get past tense form the same ed we add to get past participle form simply by adding ed we get second and third forms okay the same way here also you find the same play played played ed ed walk walked walked ed ed just we are adding close but here we are adding only d okay close just by adding d to the first form we get second and third forms and here also d only we are adding so by this we can understand that most of the english verbs most of the english verbs form just by adding ed or d to the first form we get uh, second and third forms we get second and third forms just by adding d or ed to the first form these are many really speaking so out of my observation i can say about 500 verb forms uh, i have taken nearly 400 words form in the same way but there are a few like 100 verbs uh, which are different okay now i am going to give you the different three forms also i am giving you these are very important for you to learn because in the case of this one simply by adding d or ed uh, you can form no so it is very easy to remember also but in the case of uh, the three different forms if we take it's a problem to remember sometimes that's why we have to learn them by heart also um, sometimes okay so every person has to learn them by heart okay so for example here b is am are so for all these four words the second form is was or were and the third form is only common for all been build built built burn burnt burnt so if you observe here you don't find a, a like a adding ed or d to first form you get second and third forms like that it is different and uh, up to here three different forms sometimes you see first and second may be matching the third one is different like that the three forms are the same bet 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 means present form present tense form also bet past tense form also bet and past participle form also bet spread 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 so in this way three three forms are there uh, generally usually uh, each verb also has got three forms sometimes you see uh, for very few verbs uh, they, they may not be third form like that for example can is there the past form for can is could but no third form is there like that 
So very few, one or two or three like that, uh, a very few words are there which uh, don't have third form, but all uh, verb forms have got uh, three forms in this way. And most of the verb forms generally form just by adding ed to the first form, we get second and third forms. And uh, the other words, uh, other verbs generally are different and we have to learn them well. And uh, very few ver verbs are there uh, which are uh, which which have three forms the same okay in this way we have to learn all these things okay there is no other go for everybody also so we have to learn them to speak english well thank you for watching this channel we'll meet in the next episode